start, I try on my jeans and mark out how long I want them to be. It's important to pick jeans that are too wide for this project so that you can create the ruffled waist. And then before I cut, I just make sure to mark two inches or so lower than that so that I can account for any changes I need to make. I did end up changing the shape of the leg of the jeans, so it's a good idea to keep the extra space to make adjustments. Using the rest of the shorts, I cut out a bunch of three inch wide strips so that I could create the belt and waistband. To create the waistband, I laid two of these pieces together and joined them along the side with a straight stitch. With the right sides facing, I folded the waistband in half and sewed the corners with a straight stitch. Next, I finish off the waistband using my serger, but you could also use a zigzag stitch or an overlocking stitch. Once I had that, I top stitch all the way around the waistband so it sits flat. Now I take that waistband and I join it to the existing waistband of the shorts. I just top stitched along the existing waistband of the shorts so that the seam was nice and hidden. On the inside of the shorts, I seam rip a hole on either side of the waistband so that I can insert the elastic. So using a safety pin, I just feed some elastic through the existing waistband of the shorts from one end to the other. Once that's done, I trim my elastic, tuck it inside, and I'm going to secure it with two straight stitches along the edge. The next thing I needed to do was close up those holes that I made for the elastic. To finish off the leg of the shorts, I just sewed a straight stitch all the way around the leg and then I rolled it twice and ironed it in place. Using the rest of those strips of fabric, I create the belt, so I place two strips at a 90 degree angle, right sides facing, and then I sew them together with a diagonal line through those points. Once I have that, I trim away the excess fabric and iron everything out flat. To create the waistband, I folded in each edge of the fabric one quarter of an inch, and then I folded the entire strip in half and sewed it down with a straight stitch. For the edge, I needed to go back and seam rip it to fold over that corner edge and tuck away those raw edges. If you do this ahead of time, then you don't need to seam rip it, so that might be a good idea. Then I just finished top stitching all the way around the band so that everything is nice and secure. And just like that, your paper bag shorts are done. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this easy upcycle tutorial. And I will catch you guys next time.